Hello and welcome back to the observer. Let's try hacking this. Please work. Yes. Yes. Great. Fantastic. What the f Hello? Okay, fine. Okay, as you wish. Toy car? Okay, we can look at it. Yeah, I see it's red, so... Come to the door, please. Just want to talk. Who are you? Did Chiron send you? I'm with the KPD, if that's what you're asking. Seriously? We haven't had a cop around these parts in... Never, I guess. Well, you've got one now. Yeah, good luck. You're gonna fucking need it. Thank you? Wait, is that... Questioning... Yep. That's questioning them. So I had like this... This... Effect... That's over in this menu, all over the game. Okay, let's try going over here. Door unlocked. Hello? Hello? Door was unlocked. Let's see, I'm delivered mail. The following message could not be delivered to one or more recipients. My dear Annie, by the time you read this, I will no longer be among the living. The details are not important, just know that I went out of my own ter on my own terms. I won't ask for a proper burial, bur burial. God knows you don't owe me anything, and by the time the cleaners are done with the place, I doubt there will be anything left of me to b bury. Just know that, for all my faults, I have always loved you, just like I loved your mother. When the disease took her, a part of me died that day. Simple displays of affection became a foreign concept, a painful reminder of what I had lost. It does not justify what I've put you through, but it is the truth. I am so happy you managed to get out of this horrible hellhole and find someone worthy of your love. I wish you both all the best. Love, Dad. Voices from below. Don't believe their lies. The plague is still out there. Fellow undesirables, if you're up to date with Chiron propaganda, you probably heard our so-called Minister of Health spout out another gem of corporate wisdom. For those of you who didn't, let me catch up you to speed. To all those who have given in to a certain fear mongering, I say again, there's absolutely no need for concern. The nanophage is no longer a threat. We have contained the glitch and thus freed ourselves from the disease. Sorry. Loyal citizens who support responsible argumentation have nothing to be afraid of. Three words. Bull fucking shit. Let me tell you how things really are. Unless you're one of the lucky class A facts with a shiny set of mods, in which case you're probably not reading this, the nanophage is still very real. We've had at least three confirmed cases in the past year, one of which led to a small scale outbreak. Luckily, we managed to contain it before it spread beyond control. Now, you might think free cases ain't nothing to get excited about. If so, I can tell you've never been in an outbreak. For most of us, cooped up in class C districts, even a single instance is one too many. Okay, so what the hell are we supposed to do? First and foremost, it's better to prevent than cure. Given the phage recovery rate, these words should be considered gospel. Once the plague hits, it's usually too late. So, if you want to stay safe, Look for these symptoms. 1. Fever. Pay attention to even the slightest bump in, in body temperature. The phage starts off slow, barely more noticeable than the flu. So if you're feeling a bit under the weather, get your ass to the local clinic and run a scan. Better second story. 2. Implant irregularities. This is where it gets tricky. Assuming that, like most of us, you can't afford to run a regular mod maintenance, you've probably gotten used to the old jolt of your neural implant or a slight spasm in your artificial arm. However, if these start to occur at an increased rate, you need to check yourself. 3. Erratic behavior. 
Every once in a while, try to look away from the projector and take a gander at your neighbors. If any of them are acting weirder than usual, babbling to themselves, walking crooked, there might be something at food. Assuming they're not drunk or high. A bit of civic awareness won't kill you, a lack of it might. 4. Juncture inflammation. Okay, so this skin at the base of implant or threat and starts to ease. Each. The bad news is you might be infected. The good news is it's not a death sentence. Our clinics have performed numerous extraction surgeries, and unlike the corporate cleaners, most of our patients tend to leave the operation room alive. As long as there are no nanite punctures, it's still not too late. If there are, you're most likely too busy hallucinating and puking blood to notice. If you spot any of these symptoms in yourself or anyone in your neighborhood, contact one of your R clinics. If you don't know how to find us, ask around. We got eyes and ears all over city districts, so chances are we'll find you. Now, here's what you definitely don't want to do. Don't panic. Chances are it's still not the fate. We've had dozens of false reports on alleged outbreaks that turned out to be nasty case of pigeon flu or an old implant gone haywire. Two. Don't be an idiot. In the last couple of months, we've had dozens of incidents of violence aimed at suspected carriers. Guess what? It doesn't solve anything. Once the disease takes root, we're all in this together. 3. Do not report it. I can't stress this enough. The cleaners are not your friends. They're not coming to help you. Best case scenario, they'll lock down the entire building and go through it with, it, with a fine tooth comb. using a the outbreak as an excuse to confiscate subversive materials and detain any undesirables. Worst case scenario, the ones they don't slaughter outright will end up as guinea pigs for Chiron R&D. If it comes to that, do yourself a favor and pick it, pack it in. Jump out a window, blow your brains out, doesn't matter how, just make it last. You won't thank me later, but you'll forget it otherwise. No documents. Ooh. With fire and sword. Press fire, okay. These bloody spiders again. See level two. Kill the oh yeah! Okay, I can kill you all in one go. Damn, it's loud. <laughs> it is very loud. Okay. I can hear someone talking. Did you want to scan it? Okay, scan it, scan away. Oh, I can scan this a little? What is it? Oh, it's the, it, this is the car. The toy car. Wait, move, R, your, Move your transplant? Is, is mom gonna be alright? Any blood, maybe? See anything? Remove your tra- okay, remove your transplant. Hey, but it seems there's nothing over there except for that game. Hmm. Janet left the door open. Oh, we're back here. Okay. Let's go for his stuff since we're already here. Oh. Can see you. Synchrosine refilled. Synchrosine refilled. I hope he doesn't need it.
us again this book. Yeah, it's creepy. Dear Mr. Yurkovsky, while we all greatly appreciate your exemplary service and the sacrifices you have made for your country, the VRI policy enforces a strictly proactive stance on helping our brave veterans reintegrate re re with society. Regular coverage requires a deed of per permanent B-class employment presented to a representative on an annual basis. Your current general position simply does not qualify. Given these circumstances, we must sadly deny your claim and are Trevor forced to terminate your participation in the program effective immediately. As of today, the Veteran Pension Fund will no longer cover periodic maintenance of your cybernetic prosthetics. Wish you all the best. The Veteran Rehabilitation Initiative. This is an ultimate. Oh, this is. Mm. Alright, this has gone long enough. Veteran or not, I don't give a crap anymore. No. One more fuck one more message and I'll find you and beat the fucking junk out of you. My mother can no longer take this shit. She's sick of telling you over and over that her husband, my father, died 18 years ago. She's moved on. We all have. No one wants to live in the past to constantly relive a tragedy. So, for the last time, Mike Jaworski is dead. He's been dead for a long time. Have someone type that into that bastard ass head of yours. I don't care how you do it, just fucking remember this time. Even if it's a toss up between this and remembering when to take a dump. Because the next message you send her will earn you a broken fucking job. Listen to your phone, final warning. The wall stands tall. Our brave boys and girls continue to defend us from the eastern hordes. A shot rings out in the dark. Michael, the young soldier next to me, immediately turns towards the wall. The intensity of his gaze sends chills down my spine. Without a second thought, he runs up to the wall. An imposing colossus of an imposing colossus of concrete and steel. He mounts it in a single leap using his state of the art leg augmentations. A little gift bestowed upon our troops by the current RD department. The scout aims his rifle into the inky blackness. His cybernetic eyes score the horizon for any signs of the enemy. Stern and resol resolute, his comrades hold their breath, waiting for him to say the word. What will it be this time? A soul scavenger or fool and assault from one of the numerous raiding parties that scored this unholy land. When he finally speaks, I cannot help but shudder from the sheer intensity of what is transpiring. All quiet, all quiet on the Eastern Front, at least for now. Guarding the wall can be a daunting task, Michael confesses the following morning. But it's also a privilege. The other soldiers gather in the cantina, nod their heads in approval. Michael introduces me to his squad members, some of which are on their second or third tour of duty. Several firm handshakes later, the soldiers regale me with stories of their service, each one more breathtaking than the last. When I ask what drives them to such acts of terrorism, Michael lowers his head and responds in a slightly embarrassed tone of voice. I don't think anyone here considers themselves a hero. I know I don't. The way we look at it, we are all part of something much greater than ourselves. Something that began with our fathers fighting in the big one. Ah, yes, the big one. Such an unassuming name for the greatest conflicts of our times. One we all know as the Great Decimation. A name given not to belittle, but to simplify. A desperate attempt to make sense of this unprecedented tragedy during which many of our nation's finest gave all the worlds to give in defense of our way of life, nay, of our existence, from the barbaric hordes of the East. And yet, out of this courtroom of conflict, this baptism of fire, we have emerged victorious. And while the old world has engulfed in flame, in its ashes we have built our great republic. To all the heroes that gave their lives and health in the great decimation, we salute you. While the soldiers' dedication is undeniable, 
Their service is made much more bearable due to the contributions from the board of the Thess and Kairos top scientists. Michael is quick to agree. If it wasn't for the corporate government, some of us would not have made it this long. The Aedes babies, for example, he says while affectionately patting his glistening leg prosthetics. Without them, I would be a cripple, wasting away in some hospice, unable to serve my fellow citizens. Thanks to Chiron, I can fulfill my role in our great society. Spoken like a true patriot. And let us not forget that Chiron takes care of our brave men and women on and off the field of battle. Our ongoing veteran rehabilitation initiative ensures that soldiers Mm. Oh my god, it's not going well. Our ongoing veteran rehabilitation initiative ensures that soldiers who are no longer able to serve can re reintegrate into society so they can lead rich and fulfilling lives once their glory are, days are behind them. It we know is crap. Yay, more of that. Another level. Yay. Okay, uh, we need. To Okay, I need to bait this one, bait this one, and there is no way for me to defeat both of them. Wait, 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 what's again? There is no way for me to bait this one. This is the only way to do this. Do I have to kill them all? Wait. Well, if I want that one coin, then yes. I sh really have to kill them all. Do I really have to? Okay. Hmm, I'm thinking... How the hell? Is this how I'm supposed to do this? Wait, will this work? Nope. Huh. There's no way that I can bait it so I can get this one as well. Right? Right. Because if I try to do this, yeah, I'm stuck. Hmm. There's another choice over here, so I have to go like this. Simply because I have no... no not a choice. If I could just go back... Yeah... If you have any idea how to do this, just let me know, okay? Oh, this is the effect I had throughout the whole game. Uh. Yes. Synchrony <clears throat> injected. Strain level decreased. Yeah, I have no idea if it worked. So, are we looking for something in particular over here? Okay, personal computer... And that's it, really. I can see blood. Oh, there you are. 
I was trying to get out or Hey. There you are. You. <laughs> I remember. Uh tenant ID. You keep records of your tenants. I need to match your name to an apartment. Register. Office. Authorized. Personal only. I'm a police officer. That's authorized enough. <laughs> I know what you are. Oh, yeah? Back during war to Kuan alive. Sent for one of you to get into his head. You fought in the war. You fought in the big one. Is that why you got all this junk in you? Plasma sweep. Hit our convoy. <clears throat> Barreled through armor. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring back memories. Yes. Memories. Mm, Adam. What can you tell me about the tenant in apartment 7? Mm -hmm. mm. Tenant? Yeah, tenant. How long has he been living there? Yeah. Maybe longer. Not good with time. You ever talked to him? Didn't get out much. None of them do. All right, tin man. Let me know if it comes back to you. Mm, lockdown? Something triggered the lockdown. Oh. Mm. Trying to get it open. Rudy. Yes, so I... you are trying to get out. You think it might be the nanophage? You had any recent outbreaks? No. Last one. Long time ago. Down by the river. All the pimp ones. Bad. The implants. Way out. Can we lift the lockdown from the inside somehow? Or get a message out? No. Keep people in. Isolate. Accommodate. Alleviate. Yeah. We all know how that last one used to work. Rudy? The take it, Rudy is the robot. Multifunction service and maintenance drone. Don't lose it. What? Mm, wonders of sometimes. I mm, need to track manually. Okay, I need to get going. Anyway, really. how about you show me that register now? Then and name. Uh. All I have are initials H N. H N. Mm, match. Two entries. Elena Novak. Apartment 104. Uh, Hannah Nader 106. Okay, cool. Thanks. I might need to see the register later. Can I use your office? You can. Office. Unlocked. Don't make a mess. Sure. Okay. Thank I'm go you. nose around. Can you give me access to the rest of the building? Uh, uh -huh. Assistance. Unstable. Unlocked. What I could. Thanks. Sorry, I didn't even get your name. I'm Dan. Uh, name Janus Like a Roman God <laughs> You know Good to meet you Janus Stay out of trouble Out Out hmm. Out 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 <clears throat> Need to Get Out Understandable yeah. 
let's see way up we need to get up wait then don't we actually have a map over here no it's on the other side and oh ground full uh, okay so those are the oh basement there's a lot of things in this okay oh from maps and they are over here so tiny turn right behind us this door over here so this lead us up there on the floor there's the basement it's creepy as always i'm not going in there This really looks like an old building I well, my one of my friends used to live in. Well, mine was oldest electronics. We are over here. 104, 106. They both should be right over here. Right over here. Oh no! How did you get here, Rudy? Going to get. We could get over here if I understand it correctly. 11 Wait, 10 11, 14 Yep So this is the correct way Hello Dan Lazarski, KPD Routine questioning Daddy, who is it? Can he make the door open? When can we go out, Daddy? Shh. Go to your room, kids. Go play Runaway Galaxy. Let me talk to the man. Hello, officer. I'm Thaddeus Karski, head of the family. How can I help you? Mmm, suspicious activity. Listen, have you seen anything questionable going on around here? Apart from the usual, you mean? The usual? Well, you know. This place isn't exactly a beacon of morality. Still, we mustn't judge. Most people mean well. They're just misguided. Emily? Everything all right in there? Did the lockdown spook the kids? Oh, no, we're fine. I do appreciate your concern, though. You sound very calm. You're not worried about a potential outbreak? Oh, that doesn't concern us, officer. Of course, I hope that's not the case, for the sake of the other tenants. What do you mean, it doesn't concern you? We're all clean of corruption. My wife, myself, and the little ones. Clean of... oh. You're immaculates. Children of the immaculate birth, yes. You've heard of us. All good things, I hope. Yes, I guess. Well, I've never been called to a crime scene where one of your kind was involved. That's good enough for me. Our kind? I see. Do you take offense to our way of life, Officer Lazarski? No, but it must be hard on the whole family. No one said life would be easy. Immaculate? Well, I'd have to say... No mods of any kind. That's quite a statement these days. Is it really? Is having a neural connection to the web worth renouncing your humanity? Is a body held together with screws and wires really worth a corrupted soul? Some would say there are benefits. Certainly. I know our lives will be shorter and less comfortable. But it's a price we're willing to pay for experiencing the purity of our God-given bodies. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a big fan of implants, but I couldn't do what I do without them. Yes, you carry them within you. It wasn't really a choice, you know? Oh, but clearly it was. The world would be a better place if more people realized that. I agree. Yeah, I guess you're right. 
Maybe we are what we make ourselves. There's no reason for us to argue. I don't wish to speak out of turn, but our church has a support group for the penitent unclean. Perhaps you'd like to attend a meeting? Sounds like a hoot and a half. Thanks for inviting me. Yes, well, once you get past the name, you'll find a lot of compassion and understanding there. All right, if you say so, Miss Lekarski. Godspeed, Officer Lazarski. Oh, we don't have that one. I was not really a fan of anything. Any of the Let's be clear. Sick. Cult. thing that this place goes through any safety protocols what oh it's you Rudy oh you're fine now Really just got up. Oh, we can't get through. Thank you, Rudy. One way it is directly behind us. <sighs> We're here. It's closed. One oh seven. Hello? Anyone in there? Yes. I'm with the KPD. Need to ask you some questions. Oh, and who's your friend? Friend? It's just me, ma'am. Oh, I have to go now. Alrighty. That was that was creepy. Okay, but I think that's gonna be it for today. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.